Hi, I'm Mark Dorison, Chair of the Orange County Board of Commissioners, and here's what happened at our last meeting. Welcome to the uh, Orange County Board of Commissioners regular meeting, June 6th. The board approved four projects to receive the first round of funding from the affordable housing bond approved by voters last fall. The total funding approved is $2.5 million, or half of the $5 million bond. The proposals were recommended for funding after a staff committee reviewed the applications and used scoring criteria established by the Board of Commissioners earlier this year. The four projects funded include 24 owner-occupied townhomes at the Waterstone Residential Development in Hillsborough that will serve low-income elderly residents, 16 new construction rental units at Merritt Mill East in Chapel Hill, 12 new construction rental units at Merritt Mill West in Carborough, and one single-family home that will become an affordable rental. One additional affordable rental project will be funded with affordable housing money from the county's capital improvement plan. The Board of Commissioners is committed to providing more housing opportunities for low and middle income families throughout our county. Staff and affordable housing providers moved quickly so the bond funds could be put to use as soon as possible. The Board of Commissioners awarded the contract for the Rogers Road Sewer Project to Moffett Pipe Incorporated. This project will extend water and sewer service to the historic Rogers Road community and is being funded through a partnership with the towns of Chapel Hill and Carborough and the Orange Water and Sewer Authority. OWASA will maintain the system after construction is complete. A groundbreaking ceremony for the project has been scheduled for Tuesday, June 20th. The Board of Commissioners' final regular meeting of the fiscal year will be on June 20th when we will adopt the county budget. The Board also adopted a resolution honoring the life and career of James E. Williams, Jr who served as the public defender for Orange and Chatham counties for 27 years. During his tenure, James consistently challenged racial and socioeconomic disparities in the criminal justice system while serving as an advocate for clients and a mentor for young attorneys. You can learn more about Orange County government by visiting our homepage. As always, thanks for watching.